Hi, I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. This is another video in my series of videos about digital logic. And in this video, I'm going to talk about different types of adder circuits. So let's take a look at binary addition. There are four cases. 0 plus 0 equals 0. 0 plus uh, 1 equals 1. 0 or 1 plus 0 equals 1 and 1 plus 1 equals 2. And if I look at it here, I can form this into two columns, and this is my sum, and this is my carry. All right, let's take a look at a circuit called a half adder. that can perform this operation. A half adder looks like this. You have an exclusive OR and you have an AND gate. And my inputs uh, look like this. Like that. And this is my sum and this is my carry. And this block here will often look just like this. All right, HA representing half adder. Now, that's just great if you want to add just two one-bit numbers. But if you want to add together multiple bit numbers, then you need to use a full adder. And so a full adder is built out of two half adders. And the difference is that it has a carry in. an OR gate. <laughs> Didn't draw it the best. So here's my sum and here is my carry. And a full adder, this entire block here, will often look like this. This is my carry out and this is my carry in. And this is my sum output, not to be confused with a min term, which also uses the sigma. All right, let's take a look at how you'd actually add together multiple bit numbers then. I'm going to take a uh, half adder and run it into a string of full adders. All right, so this is my least significant bit, and this is my most significant bit of what I'm adding together. This technically is also the summation three, where my least significant bit and my most significant bit. And together, these comprise what is called a ripple carry adder. All right, and it's called that because the carry has to propagate through these. When you put, if you were to put all these values in there at one time, uh, this one would take a little bit of time to do its calculation and the carry would come out 
and then this one could start its calculation. I mean, it's all happening sort of simultaneously, but uh, it since there's a little bit of delay on this, this one doesn't get it, so it's not having a correct output until it gets it. And then this one finally becomes valid, and this one can finally perform its uh, valid calculation to give you your sum. So this is a very easy to understand, but slow adder. Well, what if you want to add together numbers, uh, like three or four different multi-bit numbers? Well, there's a way that you can do that. I previously showed you the full adder, which had A, B, carry out, carry in, and summation out. Okay, a carry save adder has three inputs and two outputs. And here is A and B, and this is the summation. All I've done is I've taken the carry in and brought it over here and the carry out and brought it down there. So it's really just a full adder. It's just another way of looking at it. And uh, let's say I want to add together four different numbers. So this is the first level. I have A, B, C, okay. Now here is my summation. The summations will come down to the next level, but since this is actually the next higher significant bit, I need to bring this over. All right, so here is going to be Technically, actually, this whole row is a carry save adder. Um, this is just um, what one of them would look like. So this technically would be a half adder. And I would add in, so here is D0. And D1. D2, and this is it. Like that. But uh, at each level, let's say we're done. We're only going to add four numbers together. At each level, we still have the summation and the next higher bit. What I have to do is to finish this up, I need to have a ripple carry adder at the bottom. So here's a half adder. And this one is a full adder. And here is a, another full adder. or this could be also a carry out if you so choose. So that is the way that a carry save adder works. Um, it allows you to add as many numbers together simultaneously with you know a slight bit of delay as things propagate through it uh, as you want. Now finally, uh, all these adders that I've been showing are relatively slow and so I'm going to show you how to make a fast adder. And this is called a look ahead carry adder, 
or carry look ahead at her. Uh, and the summation bit or the sum is still a exclusive or B. But carry is done in a different manner. And there are two partial terms that you need to work with. You have carry generate which is A and B, and carry propagate, which is A or B. All right, and so your final carry is carry generate, which I'm just going to approximate with a CG, or carry propagate and your carry in. All right. Well, that's pretty simple there, but this is just the first bit. So the next carry uh, from the next higher bit equals, so this will be carry zero. Carry one equals carry generate one or carry propagate one times carry zero, which is really, or not times, but and, carry generate zero Actually, I'm just going to put it like this all right so you can see that the second bit it became a lot more complex and the third bit becomes even more complex and so on and so forth Let's take a look at how this works in a circuit. So in this adder, you're trading off complexity for speed. Yeah, we're getting a lot more complexity for a lot more speed. Um, so this one starts out with A, B, and carry in. And A, remember it was A and B. And then we also had A or B. Let's see. All right. And then carry in comes to an inverter. And then for reasons that I'll explain in a second, it goes to a second inverter. And then these guys come up to a uh, draw this a little earlier. This one has an inversion bubble and then finally this comes out to an exclusive OR. This is my sum. All right and this right here if you do your uh, Boolean algebra on it uh, it, or any method of simplification works out to A exclusive or B. And this is your carry, of course. It's still just carry right here. And um, the reason that we have this little inversion bubble and, and whatnot going on is because for the next few levels, or each subsequent uh, greater bit, you are bringing these terms up and you needed this to be inverted. Uh, I'm not going to draw that but as soon as I erase this here I'm going to show a graphic. So we can see that right here is my uh, least significant bit that I just showed and it propagates up to this uh, which is the, the next bit, bit one, bit two, bit three, and then up here is the, the carry out. And so in the end, this works out to be a very fast, uh, a very fast adder. Now, four bits isn't all that useful. You could keep adding bits, but you can see that up here, it's getting awfully complex. So a way that you can uh, do this is you string them together like a ripple carry adder. And 
And so, yes, the carry is propagating, but there's only two carries that have to propagate here, and we, we get a 12-bit 12 12 -bit output. Do a four one or a fourth one, and it's a 16-bit, which is uh, will be used in maybe a medium uh, level DSP. Uh, all right, so that's uh, a few different kinds of adders. Uh, I'm going to show a different kind called a serial adder later in my videos, but that's a little bit uh, advanced for where we're at right now. Um, so if you enjoyed this video and you have found it useful, take a look at my YouTube channel. I have other digital logic videos there. For robotbrigade.com, I'm Jack Buffington. Yeah. <laughs>